Okay guys, we're at the uh, park that is infested with iguanas. We're back to get more iguanas. There's a lot of specific sites that we have to target this time that have to do with the owls that need help and um, the facility that needs help so that people can use the facility because it's been abandoned due to COVID. So um, we're gonna get some of these iguanas out of here and try to help them set this place back up for public use. He's running down. He took off. You got a big one. At the, at the sidewalk. Flipped him. Got him on the move. You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on. There's a ton of iguanas in here, but if we walk up, they just dive in the water. Sooner or later, I gotta cut you down. We're waiting on Orion the iguana hunter to get here and we just couldn't wait any longer. There were too many iguanas. So he'll be here any minute and we're gonna really get the show started. It's a serious wind, right? So I'll set this up. So we're here at a park and there are iguanas out on this dock as you all can see. Uh, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven bogeys out there. Uh, wish us luck. There's an iguana. See the one sticking his head up over in the grass? Here's the one back down. I'm gonna shoot that if he does it. He's over here on the bank, dude. You're going for the one on the dock, yeah? Yeah. He's about to shoot the other one. This is the setup Orion's using today. This will also have Orion cam scope footage. You let me know when you're ready. Um, ready now. What are you going for? Laid him down. Now you got seven more. <laughs> Great shot. Oh, dancing. What caliber round are you shooting? 22. It's a 22 caliber round he's shooting in it is iguanas. I mean, it is nap time, people. Yes, indeed. That's all I got. I just flipped over. This last little iguana must be like, man, everybody's going to sleep over here in the middle of the day. So there's also these runners right here. 
nice, really hard shot. Yeah, because the bar's in the way, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That happened to me, that silver bar's in the way. I gave up on you. I tried to get it. It's gonna be hard, 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 hard shot. Oh, Ooh, good <laughs> shot! <laughs> nice shot. There's another one headed down the dock. Look at him moving. Like Jessica just sniped him. It. Got a buddy walking over there to come check on it. Oh, he's going to go Did you see that? Okay, I want to get that. Get it. Oh, that's what I'm saying. That's what happened to me. Yeah, but I, I know what it is. This wind is strong enough to where it's pushing us. It's so windy out here right now. Can't tell. It is gusting and it's still sticking these shots. I'm out of shot. Look at the lizards. This on top of what they already showed. There's a second wave of lizards coming out, people. There's a second wave of lizards coming out. Oh. Wait, 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 he's not a tissue roll or a guano roll. I don't know the distance here. Can you tell me the distance? I would guess that this is about 30, 35. 35 yards. Ooh, look at the granddaddy. Oh, oh you stuck him. him. That's who I was going for. Uh, stealing my guano. So, ladies and gentlemen, these two are like fighting over who's going to shoot them first. Oh, I went right over his head. A little bit to the right. Oh, he doesn't like that. He doesn't like that at all. Okay, they don't like that. Okay. That one? Oh my goodness. And that one. And that one. <laughs> you just saw that. That one, that one, and that one. <laughs> Curlis got the one I missed. The, the third one? You got this one guy just leaned up like, please get me. You see him, huh? Oh, Mount oh, Ellis. That one. Yeah, he's like, Earlis, what's taking you so long? <laughs> Go ahead. I'm going to take a shot at him. Yeah, yeah. I'm even with Earlis. I'm out of time. I have to take Take your shot. Oh, he sunk. Oops, I knocked him down. That you're trying to get, but the pole keeps blocking us? Like, you're not going to get that. He, he, It's almost like he knows. Like, let me get myself right here and protect my head. Protect myself from the neck up. He's like in a perfect spot to not get hit. Yeah, oh, and That's it. That was it. He did the death roll. Nice. Here we are in the killing fields. Got dead iguanas everywhere. They're going to poop everywhere. They're going to swim through the dock everywhere. That's what that was. Dead iguanas are diving in the water, freaking out. Dead 
iguanas. Iguanas, iguanas, iguanas. Got you, iguanas. Got you. Ernest got you. I got you. Got you, iguanas. Take that. Iguana killing fields. Look at this. It's dead. Hanging on. Head underwater. Dead. Got you, well, iguana. Look, we're out here with our new primal uh, gun gear. You and see our, that new, gauge? our new um, air tank from Air Guns of Arizona. It holds a hundred cubic feet of air. They sent us a quick connect. It, I have not bleed the valve, so I can't pull it off right now. But, uh, there. So this is the awesome new hose we have with a double extended quick connect on it. So they sent us this awesome hose with it and the bag that came with our carbon fiber tank. Um, it's been very helpful being able to see the gauge on the tank as well as the gauge on the gun. They match up perfectly. Um, this gun can be filled to 250 bar, but we usually stop around 230 just not to top it off. And um, yeah, we just don't let it drop below the regulation of around 150. I think they have it set at 130 here. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna refill the gun real quick with our awesome new equipment. Gonna attach him on here. This is the magnetic cap that comes off of the Sniper XR. So I'm placing my cap there, gonna snap on my quick connect. Gonna quick connect him over on the other side. On our tank, we have a male fitting here. And then we'll be able to go ahead and open him up. Don't wanna fill it too fast, I've been told, because you can heat up the valves and cause problems with the heat as you uh, change pressures. So um, I had already filled it up mostly, so I was just filling up the last little bit there. We're ready to go get some iguanas. All right, so Jessica with Iguana Solutions and Erlis with Orion the Iguana Hunter. And we just got these iguanas off the dock. There was a whole mess of them on the dock and we tag teamed them. We got 17 in hand and there's a large one that fell in the water. We saw a few more that dove in the water, so we're gonna come right back. They'll climb out on the dock before we leave. This has been insane. In like <laughs> around 10 minutes, we get 17 in one of the fish. So, what do you have here in your hand? All right, this is the, it's gonna be a surprise, but now it's announced, so I got a new gun. I know a bunch of people have been asking, get an FX, get an FX. This is my first FX gun. And I went for the FX Maverick in 22 caliber, not 25, so. Stay tuned because I will do a full review on this gun like while I'm learning but this is the first time this is the first blood of this gun and I will say it's amazing it's coming from SPA weapon so Ken Hick tuned this gun I will say buddy it couldn't be done better so we will talk more about the gun the dealer but this is amazing so as far as the recording part of it how are we doing that all right so we are capturing everything with the new Orion cam this is a system that I just developed um, I'm getting ready for f full production right now, so more to come on this on the future, but few people already have get their order fulfilled, and more to come in the future. Iguana on the ground, Earless in the back, can't show him because I can't see. I actually don't see it, Erlis. Oh, there it is. It's right there.
So look, we got two iguanas out. Who's I'll going for the one on the left? You take the one no. on the right. Wait, wait, there are two. Wait, yes, I got I'm waiting. Tell me when. I'm on the one on the right for me? Yeah, and I'll take the one on the left. All right. You're doing the same job? <laughs> That was for crying out loud ridiculous. They are down. <laughs> yes, I see that. Hey, we're gonna have to practice on this one, two, three thing with yes. you a little bit. No, it's three, two, two shoot. Boom. Okay, now Okay, so we're practicing. It's All one, right. one. Yeah, it's because they're 68 whiskey guys, so they show me that. So that's how they shoot. Three, two, one. That's what, Boom. They, that's what they have in the chair. Like, three, two. Oh yeah, it's pretty epic, man. Oh, there they go. Both of them. Both of them taking naps. Here's Erlis's shot, and here's Jessica's shot. Oh. I got him through the eye and came up the top of the head. Erlis got it straight through the ear. Mm, mm, Erlis's mm. tongue is sticking out. Like goodness, <laughs> got that Michael Jordan effect you going are on. Not listening. <laughs> oh, this is good because earlier before they were like all they were out. And then it took a little bit too long to prep the shot for the, the camcorder, for the scope cam. And they were, they were all gone. Frenzy. Looking at 42.8 yards right now. That's 1.4 MOA. He moved. I believe he moved. Still sitting there. You got it. Wait, wait. He had the wiggle. I need to give it another one. Yeah, he's down, brother. I think so. Yo, no, I know so. He's down. It's not a lot. You got it? So there's actually two kills. One here. Nice. Whoa, look at the shot placement, man. Shot. This one is a really nice shot. Jeez, that is called just oh. precision shooting. All right, all right. What we got going on, man? All right, there is a new one on the other side of the of the lake. I would thank you real quick. Hopefully, it doesn't get spooked. These guys have been very spooky today. This is gonna be a fifty-yard shot. 50 yards? Yeah. So he's getting his gun, the turret set up on his scope. Let's try to get this so he can dispatch this guy. Yo, be careful with that. We don't want that to happen. Alright, I'm ready now. No, no. Bye bye. No. Bye. No. Bye, Betsy. Betsy got sleepy real quick. Yeah. That iguana is expired. No, no. Bye bye. No. Bye. No. Get a spook, but wave it. Mm. 
Ranger man, 50 yards. So we got an iguana at 50 yards. We're shooting across water. Got a natural backstop of soil, a land, a hill. Left him rolling. This is like number two I've saw this man do this to across this water on the other side. We've been fortunate enough to, to spot him. That was an epic shot. Yeah, it was. I'm sitting here watching you. <laughs> all right guys we're uh, finishing up the day here we got a total of 72 iguanas um we ended up doing the first half of the day over here around the pond and got 54 iguanas and that would be this dead pile that's holding my sniper xr up as well as the pile of iguanas that's in the box this is a iguana bipod yes they are they're an iguana bipod i like it so um we did feel that about two thirds of them are female and um, we're happy to pull those out of here because the egg laying is the biggest issue we're having over here as far as the overpopulation. Of course, these females are dropping 40, 50 eggs each. So we need to get them out of here before they finish laying at the end of April um, and April, May probably. And um, we're targeting a couple other spots here. So we'll be back here and we'll show y'all some of the target spots like the owl holes and the, how they're affecting the field here when people play and um, how it's affecting a couple other of the public areas here. We want to give a special thanks to Orion. Uh, Erlis at Orion, the iguana hunter. I Thank you, say. Erlis. Oh my goodness. Erlis has graciously created this amazing Orion cam for us. This is the bars that we're gonna attach it to the gun with. This is the piece that actually goes onto the scope and the camera sits here. He uses a Firefly in it, which is similar to a GoPro, but just more reasonable in price and fairly reliable. You can see he it has it all there. right here. You can see the quality of the film on his channel, Orion the Iguana Hunter. And hopefully you'll be able to start seeing the quality of the film on ours as we're able to start setting this up. We're gonna throw a new scope onto the Sniper XR with the Orion cam and get y'all footage as soon as possible. Yes, uh, the idea is that we need to finish the setup. So we already get the, the Orion cam is ready. As I promised, you guys were checking that video where we did the, the last video we did together. And I had a lot, a lot of people like, Jessica, we want to see a scope come. And I was like, I will take care of that. But there is one thing that we're still pending, which is we need to get the right scope on that rifle because the, the Orion cam is not going to be able to work with that scope yet so we are working on that we need a scope um, once we have the scope then then you guys will see how Jessica takes off hands <laughs> because I'm pretty sure everybody's dying to see like how does this thing look like here I'm, <laughs> oh my God. I'm amazed today like I've been like struggling my scope you will see on the video, but my scope goes to 24 and sometimes I like aiming. The iguanas are really close range. That's why hunting iguanas is very challenging because you have shots that are close, really close and short, that are really far. And then you need to find the proper scope, the proper equipment. It's not everything will work for everybody. You see people shooting pigeons, squirrels, uh, different type of shooting. So we need to adapt and we have been doing this for so long that probably we can get some inside and teaching you guys how to do the proper setup so we need the scope and then you guys will get the best footage of hand that you ever experienced because the master will show us 
So air guns evolution, I mean air gun evolution, Steve over there is actually helping us get together a scope. So uh, definitely check out his page too. And um, we're hoping to link up with him as well soon. And we're gonna bring y'all scope footage as soon as possible, um, possibly this week. Goodness yeah, gracious. This, this is what you didn't see. We are taking the picture, right? For all these iguanas. And they, they are so they happy. Are oh. Take the picture, take the picture, take the picture, take the picture. Pumping iguanas. Oh. Oh. Now, when I miss, you know why I'm, I'm too shaky. All these iguanas are so heavy. Pumping oh, iguanas. They are so heavy. Ultimate workout. That's CrossFit there, man. Iguana fit. <laughs>